Howdy, howdy. Back at it. Got a 05 up Ford pickup. You can tell by the the notch in the door right here where my fork's at. They started that in 05. But uh, it was in, it looked like it had a fire in the cab and a fire in the back of the truck. And then uh, they pulled the motor and transmission out of it, so it wasn't completely dead. All right, Mario, give me a second, bud. I'm gonna get caught up. Ride on that one. Come on now. That'd be good. Ain't going nowhere. Pushing it a little better. Not really. Anyway. I got a, also right here, this is a, this is one I haven't seen very often. And every now and then I'll see one, but they didn't make many of them. But uh, you got a big body Lincoln here with a, a 3.8 V6. I know, I know you don't see them too often. Seems like it'd be really underpowered for such a big body car. another one in there. Oh, come on, man. Jeez. Now there's probably body boats laying all over the Oh, that's what it is. The goddamn drum or the rotor is going behind the forks and I'm hooked on it. That's how I'm pulling it out. There we go. We just have to sling it real hard. Man, this frame is weird. Yeah. Alright. No, no, no. I don't want it that far. Dang it. Sometimes when you get these frames on top of each other, they creak and crack and pop pretty good, but you got video spoiler over there. No, I'm joking. He's just trying to work. He, he, he missed a production meeting this morning. There you go. All right, Mario. So here's that uh, that big body Lincoln with a V6. 
little three point eight. You don't see them too often. I bet people were disappointed when they bought this car. Maybe they like the gas mileage, but I bet they were disappointed with it out on the highway. Finish it off with this Buick on top. Trying to see if y'all start zooming in and get a little more intimate with the cushion, so to speak. Where's Mario? Watch out, Mario. I'm going over the top. Crush this bundle, it turned out funky. All right, folks, there's a 
F-150 crushed and a V6 Lincoln, big body Lincoln. Yeah, somehow I know what happened. I'm just gonna fix this up. Now we don't take them apart too often. It happens with Man, y'all wanna watch Cowboys struggle? <laughs> Jeez. So what'll happen is the trash will build up on the back side of the wall on the bottom. The dirt and the, the glass and all that that's in there. So you see how it rose up on the back side as I did that? It's rising up over the pile. So uh, it, the, when I crushed this one, it, we had a bunch of, we hadn't cleaned it out. And so you put your first car in, but it doesn't slide all the way up to the wall. That's what'll happen. Okay, and then you go to put your next car, well, you can push it all the way in to the wall. And it'll overlap, it'll be hanging over two, three inches. And then you put your next car on, and it'll be hanging over two, three inches. And then you got a leaning bundle going down the road that don't look good at all. Anyway, little cowboy fixing, I wouldn't say a mistake, it happens, but we can fix anything out here. So what I'm gonna do now is just lay it on the edge. I'm not gonna push it all the way against the, the back of the crusher, just barely on the edge. And it'll turn out to be a better looking bundle. Pull this one back just a hair towards me. I don't know why my camera's doing that so bad. I don't know. I gotta work on it. Thank you.